Well, if you watched my last video, I gave you a sneak peek of where we're going. I'm about halfway there. Look at this big, beautiful valley. Wouldn't you want to live here? Nice mountains. Lots of grazing. <laughs> All right. Let me show you around a little bit. So, over on the side of the mountain, we got ourselves an old cellar hole. But one of the weird things about this site, let's see if I can get this picked up good. There's actually a horseshoe wall of rocks. And this is on an incline. Anyways, I've asked my wife about it. Um, she grew up without power and water and all that stuff. And she thinks this was an animal pen that maybe they'd keep their horses or something in here and they wouldn't want to, you know, walk over those stone walls and so they could keep them penned up for the night or something. I don't know. What do you guys think it is? I mean, it's quite a bit of work. Definitely uh, was man-made. All right, let's fire this up and find some treasure. Now these people are probably pretty poor. I mean, this is gonna be mostly a relic hunt, I'm sure. But man, if we could find a coin or a token or something that helps date this place, wouldn't that be cool? Well, ever lived at this site, it's real poor, I think. I've been digging about a half hour and I haven't found much. Here's an old uh, shotgun shell, though. <laughs> well, I finally did it. Is it an old home site? And they found a buried jar. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's empty. Uh, but the top's pretty cool. It says Blue Sea Vaseline, 1876. It's manufactured in New York. Awesome. Oh. Oh, it's really cool. I didn't see that. Look at that. It's totally embossed on that side. Vaseline, cheese brew, New York. Awesome. Look at this lazy dog. He's supposed to be out looking for bears. Man, these people were so poor. Or we're not here very long, I don't know, but nearly all of their items are iron. But you never know, man, maybe they set this up and then died. Wouldn't that be uh, something if uh, they could find a cache? Well, there's one of the first ornate things I found, but also iron. Wow. I finally found something brass besides a rifle cartridge. Look at that, we did it guys. We actually got a button out of this place. Let me uh, <laughs> brush it up. <laughs> it says, can't bust them. Looks like uh, the back fell out. Awesome. Well, we actually have a couple of cool drillics, the bottle and this. I bet you we can get a few more things. Well, I think I'm gonna have to bail out of here. We got a lightning storm rolling in. Never great to be on a, on a top of a mountain when there's lightning. But to be honest, this side, uh, I think I've already wore it out. I don't know what the deal is. I doubt someone's hit it because of just where it's located. I mean, around here, there's a lot more obvious ones that have never been hit. And this one you actually have to hike to. So, I'm thinking that they just didn't last here very long for whatever reason. I don't know if they moved on or died or what happened, but stay tuned. This isn't over. We're going to find another site. All right, I found this uh, tin can pile here. I don't know if you can see, but there's just a zillion of them. And tank heater part. All kinds of crazy stuff. So, I have not found a home site near this. I mean, maybe it got plowed in. Or, you know, I started thinking, 
Maybe people just grazed right here and they just really never set a house up. Maybe the army came through. Maybe this is an army campsite. So this could just be a campsite. I don't know how well this is gonna go, but we're gonna check it out. Wow, I have been all over and I was just starting to think, hey, this is just a dump. What we got here? Oh my gosh, I think I finally got something. That's a clad dime. <laughs> all right, I think we're gonna call that one a bust. I. Uh... Did the field kind of all around there. And I couldn't find any sign of life except for right in the dump spot. I think uh, someone just cleaned up the field. And they dumped it all in one place. I don't think it's a home site or a camp or anything. There's just no activity anywhere nearby. Um, yeah, I could look through the dump, I know, but I uh, it was just mostly tin from what I could see. So, moving on. Okay, I did it. I found a new home site. Only sucky thing is, I don't have very much time tonight. I'm gonna dig a couple holes before I leave. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Maybe with Dinwiddie. This is my first target. I got a button. A little two hole. Blasher sure sounded good. I thought I was gonna have a coin. Here's my second target. What the heck do I got? Oh. Looks like part off a bed or a cane. Yeah, nice. Okay, here's a sneak peek. See that foundation? I'm not gonna be able to stay much longer, but I'll be back. Stay tuned. Well, I have this little piece of metal. Not real special, but it does say <laughs> Ford Thunderbird in it. Score, there's definitely some stuff here. Little brass buckle. Yeah, it's amazing how much of this is just you just gotta scout and scout till you find the right spot. Awesome. That's a nice one. Okay, I'm back to the site. I've been here, I don't know, half hour or so. I haven't really dug much, uh, anything to really show you. Dinwiddie couldn't make it. But look at this. I just dug a ring. How crazy is that? You know what, let me clean this up. Okay, so this is for sure gonna be bling. Man, that's interesting. I don't, really didn't expect to find something like this at this site. Of course, I don't know how late they lived here, but this doesn't look super old. I mean, I don't know, maybe 50s. I guess we did find the Thunder Ford Thunderbird thing here, and that I looked that up. The first Ford Thunderbird was 1954. Anyways, got a ring. How about a live dig? You got me a booming sound here. I'm sure it's not what we'd like it to be, but best sound in a while. It's pretty much right there, solid 30. Probably a lid. Yeah, darn it. So I just found me a cool little cow tag, I think. Old one. Number one, 1,178. It does have even the name of the rancher and where he lived on here, but to be honest, I don't want to show that. <laughs> I don't want everybody to know where I'm at. All right, now that's a neat buckle. Man, it's been a, a long time since I turned the camera on. <laughs> I don't know if these people just had nothing, or if this has been hit before, but... Yeah, that's a sweetie. I like that one. Well, look at that. I mean, a little part of a suspender, I think. We sure haven't got any of this little hardware stuff. All right, on to the next spot. Who knows where we'll end up next. I mean, it wasn't a, a smashing one like some of them I've had recently, but 
Man, it's always fun just seeing what you can find at these old sites. I mean, some of these guys were so poor, it's surprising you can find anything <laughs> besides, you know, canned goods. All right. What do you think, man? New site? That's what I thought you'd say. Let's do this. Looks like I got a little piece of suspender here. What does that say? It actually says something on there. It says Jur Silver. G E R Silver. I guess that's German silver, but I'll tell you what, this thing is not silver. Dang Germans. Looks like I got me a little navy button here. Except for it's not really a button. It's got a couple of flanges. I guess you must have put it through and then pressed the flange over each direction. It's pretty cool though. Well, I don't know, but I think that's gotta be some sort of military button or something. Interesting. I'm sure one of you guys knows what it is. So I don't show a lot of bullets and shells, but look, this one's been drilled out. Three different holes in it. I don't know if they're trying to make jewelry or just get the gunpowder out. It's weird. So, Dinwiddie got a giant pencil the other day. I think this one's bigger. I'm thinking my pencil's bigger than his. Not doing all right on the buttons. This one's got some stars on it. Sick. Oh, <laughs> Denway's with me for just a sec. Looks like he's got a big old butcher knife. That's awesome. Got this deal here. I think it's brass. I don't know what it's off of. It looks like it might have had writing on it. I don't know, it's faint, whatever it is. It's fancy. I got another one of these. Oh. Another Model T video cap. Yeah. Boom. Not bad. Right up by the cellar hole. Looks like maybe there was a garage or something there. Yeah, Dan Woody, he doesn't dig with me very long. Just long enough to get a butcher knife and he's out of here. <laughs> he digs all day. I just meet up with him for like an hour. Crazy. I have a button sun bacon right here. Huh. Lee. <laughs> well, that's a pretty cool button. It says iron alls. <laughs> Not a bad brand name. Looks like I got some kind of bell here. Dinger's gone, unfortunately. 